Hey guys, it's Chris. So we're farting around the 4000 and I picked myself up a HP VGA 1906 monitor. Now, I'm running off of the Amiga Kit uh, style 23 to VGA adapter. And before I did that, I had it hooked to my Chinesium thing over there for the PC. So I could toggle back and forth here like the HDMI splitter. And what I did was based on the recommendations of the instructions that I actually read when you go into uh, storage monitors I have a bunch of them um, I grabbed multi-scan and VGA only and of course NTSC for me and I copied them to devs monitors multi-scan NTSC and VGA only when I rebooted Oh, I selected, also I selected multi-scan, sorry. So I went to screen mode, which is in tools, prefs, and I selected multi-scan productivity, okay, and then I did my overscan preferences, selected my stuff, and said okay, right? Which led me to downloading Mode Pro. It's on Aminet. I'll link it in the inscription. The inscription? I will link it in the description below. And what it does is this. When you install Mode Pro, you have two choices of how you can install it. You can install to run in Workbench Startup or in your user startup, which I recommend user startup, because if you're going to be using a VGA only monitor, what happens is if you go into a screen mode that something doesn't support, like a 15 kilohertz, it will black out your monitor and say, you know, signal not available or sync range out of whatever because it doesn't do 15 kilohertz. So that's where this comes in. This is Mode Pro. What it does is it promotes old 15 kilohertz uh, programs to a higher resolution so you don't lose anything. What happens is you have three different screens. You have public screen names and pro or four screen modes, public screens, screen names and program names up here. What I do is screen modes. When you get a requester, it will tell you what the screen mode request is, right? So let's say, for example, I want to run directory works. You're going to notice it pops up normally now. Well, it wasn't in a window, so let me close the window here. Screen. There we go. This is a promoted screen. I have a lot of retail space down here, but it works. Let's do something that doesn't have 15 kilohertz, like Virus Executor. Okay. An unknown screen has been requested. The screen name is this nothing. The screen mode, it will do multi-scan productivity. So how do you want to do it? I'm going to say screen mode. Promotion. Okay, multi-scan productivity. I'm going to say I want to select multi-scan and use. And now I have a new one over there. You saw. Here it is. I can toggle back and forth. So now I have multi-scan productivity was requesting. It kind of requested the same thing. But you can see it added. If something was old, like for me, NTSC, or in your case, PAL high res, or NTSC or PAL high res, or old NTSC low res, or old PAL low res, it would just request and you just hit save. The hotkey is left Amiga P instead of right Amiga P, because that would be like print or something. And it works pretty good. I was having problems running uh, my favorite file manager directory works and you know when I run opus it will do the screen mode you can do screen mode preferences for opus and that's fine but a lot of your programs are gonna have issues where it won't display let's one let's uh, let's go in here and delete my program I'm just gonna delete them so now nothing's gonna run right virus executor okay an unknown screen has been requested, which is already running. Virus Executor is using multi-scan productivity. Do you want to promote this screen? No? Because it's already promoted. So let's quit it. Now we're going to run directory works. DW. And I'm going to take it out of window. Okay. So I took it out of windowed mode and I put it in workbench. So it says, doesn't know. Directory works process is going for screen mode. It's coming from screen mode. Old NTSC high res. How do you want to promote this screen? I'm going to say screen mode. So what's going to happen is over here, this is old NTSC high res. I need to say promote this screen to a monitor type or a screen mode. I'm going to select the screen mode and I'm going to choose 
multi-scan productivity and hit save and you'll see it pop over here made it for me automatically and then the screen is promoted and it works just like any other 31 kilohertz would so it is always in promoted mode so now when I run it it's automatically promoted you don't notice a bit of difference which comes in really handy because if you don't do it what happens is this let's delete it let's try running it again I must say cancel this is what happens on a VGA monitor when you run something and luckily I know it's in the top left so I can just slide my mouse up and click so now if I run it again screen mode old NTSC high res I want to promote it to screen mode or I can do monitor type multi-scan let's try that let's say use I'm gonna say use so there's multi-scan it kind of kept it in its yeah, large scale format lost a little bit you can go through preferences here and you can tell it to auto scroll interleave force uh, planar to kind of get it where you want it to you can do aspect correction you can give it a 3d look change the backdrops for anything around the outside it's highly configurable so this is mode pro and it works pretty good you know I don't have any complaints so mode pro is an older program but it's made by Michael Rivers from Tampa Florida Michael I don't know if you're still there it was a little while ago in 1998 when you made this but it's been on Aminet, uh donation where see the docs and uh, he has a web page but I don't know if it's still live it is not online this site cannot be reached so I couldn't even send him some money because this is so cool I try to support the shareware people if I can get in touch with them problem is all this stuff is old and we're running on fumes um but anyway, Mode Pro, Michael Rivers, Tampa, Florida. Michael, if you're out there, thank you for making this. Great job. There is also another one called Boot Control on Aminet that you can uh, download. I'll link that in the description below. It's a very similar program. It runs from Workbench Startup. And sometimes I have requesters that pop up on, on Boot Control prior to this. So what happens is in my uh, you you have two ways of installing mode pro you can put it in workbench startup of course it would run when you start your Amiga it also puts itself by default in tools commodities and you'll see it's right here and here's the promoter and a couple other things that I've placed in here from my storage commodities I also leave exchange out of my desktop with a right Amiga L and snapshot it so if I have something that doesn't pop up and I don't know what the hotkey is, I can just click show interface and there she is. So we're going to do virus executor again. It's going to ask me for my screen mode. We're just going to say cancel because it's already a multi-scan productivity. I don't need to. So here she is running. And then it hides, of course. It's right here. So you can see it's popping up every time. I can click cancel. Let's quit. A lot of times with these... If I don't, you're going to see this program has a screen mode promotion utility. Like, oops, like directory works. I mean, like directory opus, you have a select screen mode. So it already knows how to promote screens. Later programs on the Amiga usually have this feature. Opus is one of them also that can run in native mode. If you right click and you can go to configure and then you can go to screen mode and you can oops you can go to screen and you can select the screen mode of what you want I just say workbench use and that way whatever workbench is in is what directory opus will run in it's your Amiga it's your choice on how to configure yours but this is how I was able to use a pure VGA monitor it's a Hewlett Packard L1906 that I picked up for $15 at our local thrift store and it's got some chunks and it's beat up in the back and it's got some scratches but it didn't have a VGA cable luckily I have plenty of those things just hanging here on the on the drapes I know we're having a lot of problems finding 15 kilohertz monitors now but there's plenty of monitors you can get 
prices are going up because rarity is ensuing and uh, we're left with these things so if you can get lucky enough to get yourself like the HDMI type SCART to or DB23 to SCART and SCART to HDMI and just kind of get yourself set you don't have to run with all that big octopus of cables behind you you can just have your VGA monitor your little Amiga kit or compatible 23 to VGA 15 and once you get into a promoted screen mode and you put this program on you can then uh, kind of be self-sufficient now if something catastrophic happens keep that stuff so you can you know get back to anything if you have something if you screw up and you don't have a screen mode you'd like so when you launch screen mode I forgot about that in settings you ask about unknown screens if you don't have this checked this is what happens so I don't have it checked right I'm gonna delete this entry I'm gonna say save so if I don't have that ask check this is what happens it just doesn't ask and it just poops out luckily I know where the mouse button is in the top left so always go into mode pro ask about unknown screens right quit mode pro oh save sorry let's try a demo these are four by threes <laughs> elude shake off the dust screen mode ID F F F F I don't know what that is let's see There we go. So one is way promoted. Look at the screen difference. This is 320 by 240 NTSC low res. It promoted into a high uh, a high res, which maybe might help it look a little better. I don't know. I think something's playing, but I can't see it. My hard drive's flipping. I don't know. Here we go, maybe. Maybe this demo's an 060 demo. That is my air conditioner. Apologies. So that's not working. We're giving the old three finger salute. So another thing we use regularly is stink info. And that's gonna be super high res NTSC for me. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say screen mode and it'll fill out the NTSC super high res. We're gonna say screen mode, promote that to multi-scan productivity, use and save, and now we can run it. And there we go. It should work totally fine except it's been upscaled basically to 31 kilohertz. That's why you're seeing this extra retail space down here. And horizontal hertz is 31.44. So that's how you know you're promoted. And then, uh, so that's that. Now every time you run it, it'll just run and you won't have any problems. It's all done in the background. Like I said, your mileage may vary, but that's Mode Pro. It's on Aminet. I'll link it in the description below. That's all I got for today, so thanks for watching, hope this helps you, and I hope you learned something.